Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Crime 4 as we are playing with the 5th Portuguese Empire in the La Resistance expansion. So, last episode, we started that video with uh, Axis still looked like uh, they were probably going to collapse uh, any moment and uh, they were going to fall apart. You know, they had uh, the allies in, uh, you know, all, all through France and then into Germany a bit and all through low countries and uh, had most of the Italy conquered. And, of course, the Soviets are pushing them back as well. I think they're right up to this point here. And as you can see, the Axis have uh, made a lot of progress. They haven't pushed the Allies all the way back. They're still southern Italy and Sicily. And, of course, there's just the uh, Dem Demarque as well. Uh, but for the most part, they've done a fantastic job, guys. I'm just extremely impressed and also surprised. Uh, I know the Germans are really powerful. And we see that in our French series, actually. Uh, but uh, I still just didn't expect them to be able to do it. So uh, that's interesting. Although I, I don't, ex I, I don't think this is going to last, guys. I think we're going to see consistent problems with invasions here. Uh, let's go ahead and set up our our marines to do an invasion. Uh, we will, in fact, go ahead and launch from here. They could push them back, though, so that could cause some problems. Uh, but it's fine. We'll go ahead and set up here and then have them do the invasion of Leningrad, and we'll see how that ends up going. They got to get their butts over there. That's going to take them some time. Uh, of course, we'll just let them go and see how long it takes them to get over there. And they should start moving now. Let me just double check on this. Well, actually, you know what? We need, we've got units to move, uh, so we'll do that first. Uh, so let's go and see if we've got any uh, areas where troops are up on the front line and not pushing forward. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Let's say we did a good. Here's one. Let's say for the most part, we did do a good job getting our troops uh, pushing forward. Uh, let's go and take these guys and have them cut off these guys here. Right, so push them forward across most of this territory. Uh, let's go and have this guy attack here, though. Bring the motorized division up that away, and uh, let's see if there's anything else we can do here. So I'll just push forward right there. I mean, well, maybe we should just keep that division there. He's in a prime position for uh, keeping them from cutting us off from supply. All right, so I have to get this wrapped up here. What we're going to do is we're going to take... I'm not seeing where these divisions are at. Okay, he's here, so we don't want him... Oops, we don't want him leaving, so we'll let him stay there. The rest of these guys, we need to let them finish moving. So like this guy, now he can go ahead and support this attack here. Oops. Support that attack, but he's not able to... Oh, he didn't touch that province. Okay, I didn't realize that. Let's go and attack here then. And uh, push forward, grab that victory point, and just try and make as much progress as we can. I have moved the planes forward. Wherever we have air bases, I keep them moving forward. Uh, and for whatever reason, this guy wants to leave here. He doesn't like this position he's in. I understand. He is in a prime position for being cut off from supply. All right, so going to get attacking over that way. The cab division is staying where he's at, which is good. Okay. Looking great, man. So I hate that we continue to advance up this way. Um, obviously, it's not necessary, but there are some steel provinces around this area somewhere. Where the hell are those? Are those up here? Oh, they're up here. So we want to get up there at the very least. Get that nice, uh, juicy steel attack right there. This guy's already defeated that CAD division, so that's great. Is there anybody defending? There isn't, so we're just going to take the Ural Mountains up there. And let's go and get these guys pushing forward as well. Go and continue to make sure that we always have troops... Pushing forward. I do want to take a look and see if these guys are moving. All right, so they're currently going here, and then okay, so that, that looks like they are are figuring it out. Excellent. Uh, so we got these divisions cut off. Let's go and get them destroyed now. So I'll push forward here as well, and then what we'll do is have this division, because he's the weaker one, move there while these two attack over here. Go and attack up that way, and I know we're going to be fighting that division, but that's okay. Got the air base there. Excellent. Let's go and push forward across this territory here. And I hate that they keep leaving the fronts uh, to go to these back ones, which of course is, is just not important that they do that. All right, and then this guy can go and grab that for us. Okay, lovely. And then Australia has capitulated, so more good news, guys. And just all around, uh, we see that the. Uh, the fascists are, are winning and getting having a lot of successes. So it's great to see, guys. Alright, so trying to get these guys here wrapped up. Uh, a lot of openings here. Let's go ahead and push forward here. I'd prefer they move divisions down here and we cut them off. That would be the most desirable outcome there. 
Let's go and attack these guys, try and get them cut off. Uh, we have three divisions here. Uh, I wonder if I can beat these uh, German divisions. Let's just take a look. 16 hours, and we'll get there in one... No, okay, so we won't beat them, but we'll go and attack them there. And let's bring these guys over here and attack right there. And I want to bring this guy to do it as well. Get that division there cut off. Just continue to cut off divisions wherever we can. Uh, looks like uh, this should be wrapped up here in mere moments. All right. So those division there, there we go. Let's go and put them back up onto the front. Make sure that these guys stay on the front as well. Support that attack. And then we're going to want to get the win here after they're done with that. There we go. Uh, let's go and attack right here and try and cut off those divisions. Just continue to cut off and destroy troops, man. Um, so the Bulgarians are offering more support equipment. We'll go and accept that. All right, so let's go and dip back over to the far side of this front again. And uh, again, just keep on pushing forward, man. Attack there. It looks like we'll finally get an air base over here. Uh, it's been a while since we had one. Attack those guys there. And... You guys can go that way. Uh, should have troops here going this way. Uh, these guys can get up onto that front. Have these guys come up over here. And it's going to grab that province. About to get that taken. And we do have these guys now open to be cut off. So let's go and attack over this way. Cut off the divisions here. And I just don't want to have to fight these guys all the way across. So that's why we're going to keep on... Focusing on cutting divisions off if we can. Let's go and attack over this way. I know that's across a river, so we might have to fight that guy, but that's okay. I think we'll still get the win there. Uh, and then let's go attack this way. I'm very close to getting all these divisions here cut off. There's nobody there, so we'll go and attack right there. Okay. Also, there's areas here we can make a little bit of progress. All right, waiting for that division to get up on his front. Let's go and attack this way. Just always attacking, guys. We need to always be attacking. Even in the mountains and shit like that. Alright, go this way and just... Gotta wait for a lot of these troops to get up on the front, man. Yeah, a lot of, uh... A lot of vision still moving up to the front line. Let's go and attack back here. And those guys are looking good as well. We'll just kind of dip, keep doing this. Dip from one side of the front to the other. Let it play for a few days and then just kind of make adjustments. Here we go. We got the heroes on the production uh, front. That gives up plus 5% stability and it removes all those penalties we were having. Uh, so that's good, but... You can see we're still at 43%, so we're still having issues here. Uh, so we, we could end up having those events fire again. And what I've noticed, and I don't know if this is actually the case in the, the files or anything, because I haven't looked, uh, but what I have noticed is that it often seems like once you get that event, then it just keeps on fucking firing, man. Uh, that's the way it seems to me anyway. Again, could be wrong. It sure feels that way. Like it just fires over and over and over again. We're going to have to attack those guys there. These guys are going to have to be on this front. And instead, we'll have them go a couple provinces to get the organization back up. Uh, these guys here need to be destroyed. Let's go and have them attack. Uh, they don't have any equipment here, so it shouldn't be too difficult to do, you'd expect. Getting those divisions wiped out. Let's make sure, again, just continue to push forward with the limited divisions we have for these massive, massive fronts, guys. Uh, we are winning there. Let's go and just attack here because I think yeah, he's going that way. Let's go and attack right there. Actually, let's try and attack here. And then we'll have him attack over that way, though. He might not be able to win there. Let's we'll see. Uh, they are moving that tank out, though, so we probably won't be able to get him cut off like I was hoping here. About to get that guy cut off, though. Alright, excellent. Let's continue pushing forward there. And now let's dip back over to this side and uh, start helping out trying to get these divisions destroyed. So he's going to come up over this way. We should have this territory here wiped out in mere moments. Uh, so let's go and get the attack here. We'll try and get this finished up, guys. So we need to destroy this division. Let's go and do that. And these guys attack all the way across here. That would not be a win. Well, maybe. It might have been. But we'll, we'll stop it. Uh, let's go and attack over that way. A lot of these guys' organizations are kind of low... And we are attacking into a mountain there, but we're about to win, so we're going to keep it going. Let's go and attack over that way, try and cut those troops off. Uh, just going to push forward over here and here. And, alright, so he's already gone that way. Just make sure at all times these, these troops are moving if they, if they can. I'm going to attack them there, that's an easy fight, they don't have any... It looks like they're completely out of tanks at this point. Uh, so we can go and deploy these guys now. Uh, we did finish them up, uh, so let's go ahead and deploy them... 
I guess over here, and then uh, set up a little training army here. And just get these guys training up, and we'll see if we can if we can do any more troops. Uh, so let's go ahead and do area defense here. And again, we only want them to protect the ports. And then get them training. Actually, we'll just keep them training at all times. Uh, so let's just go and take a look and see. All right, so we set these up to build. I don't think we have the equipment for this right now, guys. Let me just double check. We're still really short on support equipment, so you know what? Let's just stop production for right now. Let's, let's try and finish getting these issues solved, which the reason why they are such major issues is because, again, our steel problems, they have just hit us so hard, man, uh, the steel issues. Uh, so I don't know if our invasion will get there in time to even invade Leningrad, but we're going to keep it going, try and make it happen. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here. And just keep on getting uh, victory points and trying to take them out of the war. Uh, and again, normally it takes you uh, a while to get these victory points back here. Uh, so it shouldn't be as difficult to beat the Soviets as it typically is because we're, you know, coming up from this direction, which is not... Especially this. I suppose you typically come up in this direction, but how, how many people come up from here? Not not very many, so you don't usually have those victory points. Let's go and support this attack. Try and get those guys wiped out. I don't know why these guys are so inclined to uh, move. Push forward there. And here. Let's just beat that division there because it should be an easy win. Yeah, nobody defending many of these provinces here. Uh, I mean, like, for the most part, there's nobody here defending a lot of this territory, and the ones that are there are incredibly weak. So it's been pretty easy pushing forward uh, here. It does look like that would be a loss, so we'll pull that back. You don't typically see us lose too many now. Uh, there's another loss there. Uh, let's go and get the next one selected here. Probably keep on going with the uh, maintenance equipment simply because we are having so many equipment issues, so I think it would be useful. Alright, so these guys are pushing forward here, they're pushing forward there, everybody's moving. Alright, excellent. So again, we'll just let it play a little bit longer. And did destroy a bunch of divisions there, so that's excellent. Let's go and push forward here now. Just wait for these guys to get up onto the front line. There's nobody there to stop us, so it looks like somebody moved there, but we're still able to defeat them there. Uh, okay, that one's not going to work. Right, well, he doesn't have any organization, that makes perfect sense. Uh, could easily beat that light tank division there. Uh, and we did get the standardization, excellent. So that's going to give us uh, plus 10% uh, factory output. Uh, so that is going to be quite handy to have as we're trying to get the damn equipment shortages fixed. Let's do the uh, field maneuvers, get that last land doctrine research bonus. Get us uh, more army experience too. But... Alright, so he's wiping that out, this guy has taken this. I'm going to try and grab that victory point right there. We'll see if he can win or not. Push forward. Oops, I don't know what I did here, but you just want him going that way. He can just continue the attack here, though. It does look like we're going to lose that, so let's just pull it back. Clearly not going to win there. All right, so they're starting to have some less equipment issues, or some certain types of divisions, I should say, are having less equipment issues. I don't know if we'll beat these guys here. 20 hours. I don't want to push forward in a, a territory that we're not going not gonna to be able to game for ourselves. Let's just start moving these. These guys are really keen to come over this way. All right, so we could cut those guys off, and then we'll be able to get them destroyed. So we'll go ahead and start working on that now. And let's go and push forward here. Just keep on pushing forward where we don't have to attack cross rivers. And uh, push forward there as well. Should be able to get the wind there. And we got the wind there. Excellent. So yeah, all of these are, are rivers. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here, and then we'll seek to destroy... I mean, this is across a river, so it's kind of unfortunate we have to do it this way. Let's see if we can't get over here. Same thing with this guy here. All right, push forward there and there, and go ahead and beat them there. It looks like this is the prime uh, place to cut off a ton of divisions. We'll see if we can't make that happen, uh, and then just come up over this way for right now, and then we'll try and get those divisions defeated. Here's another area where we could cut divisions off, but uh, we have to move a division over here first. Did finish that up, excellent. Let's go and have these guys come up onto this front. All right, let's push them forward, guys. And uh, we'll have to see if they end up attacking here or not. I know exactly what they're doing there. All right, so this has been finished up. Let's go ahead and now push forward here. And uh, yeah, this, the fronts are getting all messed up, uh, but I'm not gonna mess with them. Actually, this guy needs a tank over this way. Make sure we lock them down temporarily at the very least. Alright, and let's 
go and have this guy come up over this way now. And just start pushing forward across here. Let's go and attack them there. Alright. Push forward there as well. Alright, so he's already moving there. Excellent. Alright, so looking good. Just trying to get these divisions here wrapped up. Attack over that way. This is clearly lost, so we'll have to attack over that way instead. Let's go ahead and have these guys attack here. Alright, just keep on pushing forward. Oh, never mind. Never take that back. I don't want to do that this way. Let's go ahead and have them go here instead. Cut those guys off. We did get the fighter threes. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the next plane models. Well, we were trying to get the research bonuses for those, weren't we? I think we're pretty close to getting them. We could just could just wait. Let me see if there's anything to get in the meantime, though. Uh, or if it'd be better to just go ahead and, and start working on those. I know that we need to get the ships, uh, so we want to start working on those. Uh, we still have anti-air and anti-tank stuff to get, though we're not really using a ton of those at the moment. Still a lot of stuff here. Alright, so this is what we're going to do, guys. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the ships. We'll have one of these devoted towards uh, ship techs now because, yeah, we want to go ahead and start modernizing these. I suppose we can go for the research bonus here in the advanced landing craft. So that would help. I mean, we'll have this invasion done before then. Uh, but let's go ahead and tick these guys. Out. I don't know how far we'll be able to tick them up with the current. Uh, yeah, this looks good. Let's go ahead and save that. And then what we're going to want to do, yeah, make sure that goes away. And then go ahead and decommission. Oh, my bad. We want to change the fighter twos up to the fighter three mark ones. All right, excellent. Um, so still pretty short on steel. Uh, there's a little bit to be had here, although I don't want to give them. Let's change, change this up here. So that'll help a little bit, but yeah, still, still, still is still an issue. Uh, that's kind of hard to say. Uh, so let's go ahead and attack here. I want that victory point, guys. And then I'm going to try and cut these guys off if we can. Uh, more areas for divisions to be cut up, cut off along here, and this front is no longer needed at all. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. We will want to go ahead and wipe these guys out here, though. Try and get these divisions cut off right there. Alright, winning here as well. And, okay, just trying to wrap that up. Got to get this division here destroyed. I don't know if we'll be able to do it with what we got here. I'll have to tack over this way and just send him over here. Just make sure that gets done. Alright, so let's go ahead and try and cut those divisions off there. And, uh, we got to get that cab division destroyed, too. Hmm. Alright, let's just destroy it now. There's no other divisions around here to get that job done for us, so... Let's go and attack right there. And... I guess we'll attack here as well, and then I should cut these divisions off here. We're gonna start attacking them now, though. Try and get those guys wiped out. Or, uh, pushed back, I should say. Alright, so... They're coming up over here. We already have that victory point. Let's attack them here, then. Let's go this way. And go and keep on pushing forward over here. Uh, there is, I think, some steel somewhere to be had. Maybe not. Oh yeah, it's aluminum actually. Uh, there is some steel that way as well. So we'll keep on trying to push forward here. I am worried about them cutting us off though. Uh, so that's something to be concerned about. But yeah, this is going great. I, I don't know if we'll get them uh, defeated in this episode. Uh, you know, we're about to win here in Stalingrad. Maybe we'll take a look at the current casualties once we, uh, or excuse me, what, how close they are to capitulating once we take Stalingrad. Want to get that first, make sure that goes in our hands and not German hands. Uh, let's go and attack over this way and attack right here and that'll cut off all these troops here. Uh, so that looks great. They're just uh, taking insane amounts of casualties, guys. Let's go move him over this way. But yeah, this is, it can only last so long for them. Uh, we did get all these troops here cut off. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, what we're going to do is push forward here and then have this guy fight him. Him fight him. Actually, you know what? Let's make sure that they're assigned to this. And then if we have any, like, yellow army divisions here, uh, so he'll go over to there next, I suppose. Just, at this point, we have, like, more divisions cut off than we can even deal with. <laughs> it's, uh crazy how rapidly we're cutting off troops uh, it's this front is just so wide and and frankly the red army needs to do more so let's go ahead and increase their front so that they'll help us cover all that and then we'll be able to pull the yellow army back and we can go ahead and take these guys and have them get off of this front here all right excellent uh, let's go ahead and keep on pushing forward up to the north here 
definitely cut, the, cut those guys off. I know they're moving on their own, but it would have taken days that I don't want to wait for. So let's see if we can't get the win there. No, we can't. All right. Was that the wait? It's going to push forward here. Although he was too weak uh, to do that. All right, let's go and do here then instead. Push forward right there. All right, excellent. And just looking for other areas. Still trying to get these troops here destroyed. Just going to get these guys moving over here. We just don't have enough troops here uh, at the moment. Attack them there. Another victory point there we can grab. And so let's go this way now. All right, and so this is another front where just don't have enough divisions assigned to it yet. So it's going to bring some more on over here. Uh, these guys are also cut off and no divisions to really get them wiped out at the moment. Let's go and attack over this way. Uh, these guys are about to cut them off. And then let's move towards that victory point right there. Oh, he goes over towards this one. All right, looking good. Making progress. Making progress, guys. Need to get these divisions here destroyed. Let's go ahead and make that happen. All right, excellent. Uh, they did take Stalingrad back, so let's go and attack them again. Attack over this way. Looking like this is all green. All right, lovely. So now we're gonna go and attack over that way. And let's make sure all these divisions go up onto the front here. We only need, frankly, we only need one of those guys to do that. All right, excellent, so that's been done. Uh, let's go ahead and attempt to, well, we have a division going that way, so we'll just attack over here then. Try and get these guys here uh, wiped out. And then we'll be able to pull the LRE back. Uh, and they'll be able to concentrate more on trying to get this front dealt with, which has been difficult, because it's just so damn wide. All right, so they're going over that way, and here's another one. Yeah, this is just problematic, man. Uh, we do have military factories. Uh, not that we have the steel. Wait a minute, we do have steel. Okay, excellent. We actually have steel. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the military factory assigned. Uh, we'll see what we need. Artillery. Uh, support equipment is looking better now. I uh, still need artillery and armored cars, though. Uh, I don't think we have much going into armored cars. That's mainly for our garrison, remember. Uh, but artillery, we have eight factories going into that. So let's go ahead and pump this up a bit. Put in 10 there, and then like uh, go up to 5 here for armored cars. And then they'll go ahead and uh, reassign those as we as we take more factories for from the, uh, the Soviets. Alright, so... Yeah, they might end up moving that into they're gonna move there. Let's see if we can't get them cut off. I don't know. We'll see what we can what we can make happen there, guys. So he's going that way. Uh, let's go ahead and have him attack over here. And he's going this way. Okay, excellent. Okay, just make sure that we get all these uh, cut off divisions destroyed. We need to get the recon company twos. Alright, so we'll go after the recon company three. He's just trying to catch up on some of this 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 uh these support companies. These guys are not staying here. It's gonna have everybody attack. And let's just have some of them stay here. Jesus, man. And then we got all these divisions across the river here, which is great. Alright, so try and get these guys wiped out here. Alright, and they're pushing up over that way. Looking good. Let's go and attack them there. And this reconnects them with these divisions, so that's not really a problem. Alright, so yeah, still just waiting for the Red Army to get their butts on over here. Go over to that province. And when does he get there? One hour, so just let him leave, and then we'll attack right there. Right, let's get that win there, and let's go ahead and start attacking these divisions here. Now we have two divisions currently going after this province, so let's just send them over that way next. I'm going to attack. Nope, that's not going to work. Go ahead and stop that then. Alright, make sure he stays here. Alright, and grabbing that province as well. Let's get the air base here. And just take a look at our, our planes right now. So we currently don't have anybody in this region, so let's go ahead and move them there now. A little bit of uh, stuff to, to wrap up here. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll keep them here. Um, but what we can do is go ahead and move the fighters for right now over to there. It's a little bit closer. Planes here are really far away because there's no, no air bases up here. We could try and get some built. Uh, what are we building anyway? Uh, yeah, we're currently building this stuff for the war against the allies. I really want to concentrate on getting that done. 
Are these guys ready to go yet? Like, could we send them if we so desired? If we pulled them off of this, could we send them? We don't have naval supremacy, but we could get that with the submarines. Uh, so let's let them get the organization back up. And I'm just going to try and get behind them and get Stalingrad, or Leningrad, excuse me. I don't know if we'll be able to or not. But we need to go ahead and bring some submarines over there. Uh, let's go ahead and have them go over here. And then we're just going to take, like, a little thing of, of submarines. And... Is that most of these? We don't need all of these. Just trying to get it up to, like, a total of ten. And then they'll provide us with the, uh... They'll just do the patrols here. Oh, we don't need it there, my bad. We need it here. Hold up, guys. <laughs> Here, that's the only place we need it. So they're gonna start heading on over there, so that hopefully we will get control of the skies there, or excuse me, of the uh, seas there, so we can do this naval invasion. I don't know if we'll be able to do it in time, guys. It sure doesn't seem like it. Uh, but I did try. I tried getting them over there. All right, so let's go and do some attacks here, because uh, yeah, these guys are about to escape. Oops. Let's attack with them. Get them defeated. Attack over that way. All right, just trying to ramp up these divisions. The Red Army can get up on this front where they're actually losing right now, interestingly enough. We'll attack over that way. We could win there. We'll help out here. Let's go and attack these guys here as well. All right, looking okay, good. I um, don't know why they're leaving. Just stay where you're at, man. Uh, so let's go and grab this and try and get to that victory point. And let's go and get this attack done here. Alright, it's so winning there. Let's just attack those guys. We can't cut them all off. Uh, oh yes, we need to get these guys here destroyed. Alright, so they're actually going to go there. When do they get there? That's going to be a long, long time. They don't have any damn supply. Alright, let's go and start wrapping up this territory here. And not going to win there. Okay. Yeah, we'll just have to stay here for right now. I'm gonna try and get that airbase though. Alright, looking pretty good, except for not attacking them there. So let's go ahead and do that. And then they'll help out. And so they're already almost there. Alright, so this is all that's left. Just getting these divisions here destroyed. And then they'll be freed up to go elsewhere. And they cancer them lease. So I'm gonna take a province there. And send this guy in, just trying to get this finished up. Alright, so those guys have now been wiped out. Excellent. Let's go and attack them here now. Alright, this is looking pretty good, guys. Making progress. And uh, still plenty of time left in the episode, too. So, very, very nice. Let's go and get them destroyed. And these guys as well, or try to anyway. And we'll send them in. Uh, a lot of a lot of Soviet divisions getting killed this episode. Quite a few guys. So I'm bring these guys over here. As I don't know that we have. It looks like we did fail the attack here. All right. Try and lock those guys long down longer. Tank right there. All right, and then these guys are just gonna come wipe all that territory out for us. We need to start kind of filling some of this in, guys, when we can. All right, so they're about to cut us off there. So that's a problem. Let's go and attack them then. And then we'll try and uh, reconnect up here. Take them a while to get over there, but that's okay. Alright, so... I want to get as much territory up here as we can. Push it as far north as we can. Uh, for obvious reasons. Can, can we send these guys in? Not yet. Uh, it doesn't look like we have the ships there just yet. It's probably going to take some time to get over there. Uh, we can go and give them an admiral, though. Here, because we don't have one. And it is going to take them some time, but where are they at right now? They're not even moving over there. It's not accessible. Can't they get through here? Yeah, why can't they get right through that? Right through there. I, I don't know why they're saying they can't get through there. They can. I don't think we're gonna get the invasion done, guys. Just not enough time. But I'll keep it. I'll keep trying. I'm trying to have this guy support here. Maybe he can't. I'll do the attack there. Yeah, we're having some pushing forward here. All right, so let's go and get these guys here destroyed. Try to. 
All right, and these guys are locked down temporarily while we take that territory there and keep ourselves from getting cut off here. Because <laughs> they are trying. I knew that was going to be a problem in that territory. All right, so the Red Army could be assigned to do a bit more. And then we're going to pull this Yellow Army back. Let's go ahead and start pulling them back now, actually. So they can go elsewhere. Let's go ahead and get the win here. And push forward right there. Okay, looking good, man. All right, so I was trying to get to that province without having to fight anybody. <laughs> uh, they canceled the blood lease. And let's go and attack them across the river. I know it's across the river, but that's okay. Uh, and looks like we have finished up here. Excellent. Let's go and take that and have him go over here. Have him help out. And... Same thing here, man. Just try and get these divisions finished up here. They could liberate them at any time, but they choose not to. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, these guys did end up getting cut off. Let's go ahead and take that province then. So we can try and uh, liberate them. I thought that might have been a problem here on this uh, terrain. In this territory that we have is just such a wide open front. Uh, let's go ahead and delete their front line, or their offensive line, excuse me. And then give them a new one. Uh, Moscow is almost in Axe's hands. Uh, let's go ahead and have this deleted here. And give them a new, another one. So we always have that planning bonus when they're sitting still. And they're kind of building it up. And yeah, we are uh, making very good progress, man. They just haven't been able to stop us. All right, so let's go ahead and have these divisions, one of these attack over this way. We'll probably just let this guy leave here. He'll be gone in mere hours. And then we'll uh, come up behind all these guys. And I thought we were already moving over there. Apparently not. We're just right now fighting with the Axis to try and get control of as much territory as we can. I'm going to grab that victory point. Try and get that one as well. Come pushing forward along the front, man. Okay, so he's wrapping that up. Looks like we did reconnect here. Excellent. Uh, let's go and grab that territory now. They might end up taking that back from us. That's okay. That's all right, guys. But yeah, we're getting all this steel uh, from the Soviets. And this has been quite helpful. So he needs to wrap that up. He's going to go up this way instead. I'm just looking for... You notice they are... As they lose territory, they're actually doing better in equipment. <laughs> I don't know how that is, but it's interesting. All right, pull the L army back a bit more. So again, they can try and concentrate on this damn front of theirs. Okay, we're trying to cut troops off there. I see what's going on. We'll, we'll let it keep going then. All right, so almost got that wrapped up. A lot of divisions up along uh, these provinces here where we are... Well, actually, no, you know what? We've actually wiped out most of those divisions. All right, awesome. Uh, we did get the Marines, the Marines 3. I need to take a look at our Marines. I don't think we'll be able to do the invasion again. I just did it a little bit too late. Uh, if I had been paying attention to it, I think we wouldn't have missed that opportunity. Uh, so, could go and get better radar. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff to get now, guys. Quite a few things uh, still left to get on our agenda. I'm just going through it all, seeing exactly what we don't have yet. All right, uh, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and, and since ship, ships do take longer and I wanna get like better, newer ships out there, let's go ahead and, and start getting these. Uh, and you know what, we're gonna go with the heavy ship hole, 1944 heavy ship hole, because we still haven't built battleships yet. And so might as well get the latest model, I mean, since we're so so damn behind. Uh, so let's go and take that victory point. And I wanna attack these guys, I don't know if I'll be able to win. Probably not, well, maybe, uh, but this is what we'll do. We'll attack over here first and then maybe we can get behind them in a different way make that a little bit easier I know this is across river we'll attack them there try and get any troops that are there cut off and we are into the the first of December now um, first of December 1944 so we'll be entering into 1945 soon into the war historically of course we still got a lot of war left in this campaign uh, so let's go and try and get these divisions here wiped out we just keep on having this situation getting messed up here I'm just going to go ahead and attack across here, just see if we can't get there first. 
and let's push forward along this front. I'm even going to attack there because I want that province so bad in our hands. Oh, we'll take the river penalty. I really need to start making progress, though, if we want to get to these uh, places before the, the Axis do. Uh, so we've got two more factories over here. Let's get these assigned. Uh, let's see where we're at, how, how much better we're doing. Support equipment is now much better than it was. Uh, still pretty short on the uh, armored cars and the artillery, though. All right, let's go and do artillery. And yeah, it's great that we don't have the steel shortages. I'm gonna stop trading for these uh, for right now, though. No, actually, we might still need to do these because we are putting so many dockyards towards uh, uh, the convoys because we were having issues with steel. Now. We can try and get these completed a little bit faster. Yeah, so let's go and put them towards, I guess, getting some destroyers done. All right, so that looks a lot better. All right, so where are we at here? Winning there. Winning, okay, pushing forward there. And troops here. Now, there's not really any victory points along here anymore to go after. So I'm just kind of like looking for like provinces that have resources and stuff but at this point yeah we're, we're really just trying to get them to capitulate now oh he was going that way probably should let him keep going but it's fine I'll go this way instead and let's go ahead and increase the yellow army's front again and increase the red army's front they're going to help us out even further over here all right so i get all these troops moving um well let's not do this just yet i don't want these guys to leave here and we're still trying to get, you know, these troops here wiped out. Looks like that ended up going into their hands. It's unfortunate. Uh, should be able to get that done, though. Get rid of this front here. And then just try and get these troops here wiped out. Let's go and go after that victory point right there. All right, I'm about to get that uh, Soviet division there uh, cut off. So we can properly destroy him. Uh, let's go and go towards that victory point, but we'll go this way. Alright, grab that air base as well, because yeah, we just don't have many air bases up here. There is one right there though, uh, so let's go ahead and move our planes. Uh, just kind of see where we're at as well with the rest of our planes. Alright, so we're going to want him over here. Uh, we do have no, no, no air base there that we can use. Uh, nope, we can't use any of these. Alright, well, we still send him over there. And then for our, our troops here, our planes here I should say, uh, let's go ahead and move... I mean, the most, the best advantage that we can have is getting the uh, fighters over here, so we have the air superiority in in the region. Just not very large air bases, unfortunately. And I don't really want to build them up uh, because I mean, at this point, they're 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 done for. Uh, so let's just take a look at them. Uh, they're currently 86% towards capitulation. Uh, they currently got 7.89 million casualties. We did 3.3 million of that. Barely any divisions left. Uh, and uh, we are, let's see, 24% of the war participation, not, nowhere near as much as the Germans, unfortunately. And uh, we have a total of 149,000 casualties against the Soviets. Uh, so that's pretty damn good, man. Wow. Uh, we've killed 92,000 Mongolians, lost 2,000 ourselves. So yeah, we're doing, we're doing great on uh, just how many of them we have killed. Uh, quite a few. A little bit less than we did last episode. Uh, so far, and that's just simply because uh, there's less divisions to kill. Alright, so uh, looking for other areas to push forward. At this point, I mean, these guys are all so weak, but it's just like, let's push the front forward where we can. Alright, uh, so I don't want to attack across the river there, though. It seems like there'll be easier opportunities for cutting troops off. Of course, this yellow front is just absolutely massive. <laughs> Wherever we have, and you know, divisions to push forward, we'll make use of them, but yeah, for the most part, most of these, uh, this territory is not, we do not have anybody here. Uh, can we do the naval invasion? Let's take a look. Let me see. Let me see how things are going. Uh, so, these guys are not here yet. Yeah, maybe they can't, uh, have such a low surface detection and low max speed that they're not able to do that. Maybe if we did, like, um, I don't know if doing convoy raiding would help, uh, and then that will allow us to to try and do this damn invasion uh, of Leningrad. Just, even if, uh, yeah, we'll just see you guys. Let's see what happens. I'll see if we can grab it. Uh, well, I don't know, probably not. 
<laughs> but I did all that planning, so we're sending them, and we can still advance our territory up this way, I suppose. Or at least at least get war participation. Uh, it won't be in our hands; it'll be in German hands. Uh, I can see if uh, anybody would be willing to give us territory. Oh no, we're not in the same faction; so they won't give a shit. Uh, so let's go ahead and go with the artillery and the support equipment. Uh, so let's go with uh, ten towards the support equipment and 15 towards the artillery and armor cars that's fine uh, and then any other further ones we get we'll put into building up these planes again keep our air force building up all right uh, so pushing forward there let's go and push forward here as well and here although we already have somebody so let's go that way instead let's try and get these divisions here wiped out and get this done man uh, and stop this rid of this. This is continuing to be an issue for us. Alright. Excellent. So, should be able to push forward there. Attack them there. Uh, that attack failed. It's interesting how they're actually like doing better in equipment now than they were before. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised by that, but whatever. I guess uh, they have less divisions that need equipment now. Yeah, that's probably what's going on. They have less divisions that need equipment because they've been destroyed. So the production they do have is able to now focus on the few divisions they do have. So I think that's what's going on here. Alright, let's keep on taking that territory there. Pushing this wide-ass fucking front forward. I do have the Red Army with a, a smaller front because this is the, the territory where there's more stuff. Uh, more steel and, and goodies here. Uh, more victory points. That's why we're kind of focusing a little bit more on that. Alright, so let's go ahead and push forward here. Alright, so these guys are all... God damn it. These guys are all failing, man. Yeah, a lot of these attacks are having difficulty. Again, they, they don't have as many supply issues as they once did. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is attack over this way once we get that division over here. Let's go and attack over here as well. We'll be able to wipe that division out. We'll attack them there, and clearly that's not going to work. So just go and support with all these guys, make sure that gets done quickly. And again, always making sure that we are attacking here, taking this territory. Alright, let's dip back on over to this front, and let's go ahead and get behind these guys. And push forward to grab that victory point. Uh, so if this guy actually goes this way, he goes that way, then they'll be cut off. Alright, we actually have these guys here now as well, so we can pull the yellow army back again. Alright, and ready to get these divisions here cut off from supply. These guys are just about ready as well. Alright, so just kind of stop what we were doing there. Yeah, no, this is working here. We'll try the attack here. That looks like that should be a success, even though our organization's a bit low. Let's we'll attack over this way as well. And I guess he can push forward there just because we're about to get that. Uh, and let's see here. So that's where the oil is. We have, uh, yeah, we need to start like taking some of this territory behind us. Alright, just make sure at all times we are attacking. Alright, looking good. So, just about wiped out these divisions here. I'm gonna try and get this done, man. Alright, and then more divisions here to be wiped out. Uh, let's go ahead and start working on that with this guy here and this guy here. Let's try and get these all completed. Uh, let's go and push forward here now as well. Uh, so we did get dockyards. Did we win here? Uh, no. We are helping them. I don't know if we'll get there in time. Uh, but we did get a, a dockyard done. I don't know if he was repairing or something or what the hell he's doing, but yeah, we'll take it. Uh, let's put it into the light cruisers. It's great not having steel problems, isn't it? Let's just go and pull back on this then get our civilian factories going towards... Oh, apparently we pulled it back a little bit too much. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we're building up the infrastructure in those regions now. I think that's over here. It's not really necessary. 
Uh, I know that we've kind of completed it some, but yeah, I don't think this is, we should be wasting factories on this. And I don't want to build out any of these yet for steel until we know what we're going to get in the peace tree. So we won't do that. Instead, let's focus on getting the stuff here done that we need to do. There's a lot of stuff that needs to get done. Uh, you know, we have the coastal forts, excuse me. Uh, so we've got the coastal forts here, level fives. Uh, we want to get that even higher, uh, but not yet. Uh, first, we should probably get like the naval bases done so that they can get the supply that they need here. At the very least, a level two naval base through here, if I get, oops, I'm clicking on the wrong territory, I'm a dummy. Uh, so at least get level two naval bases. Uh, we're gonna want radar as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and start building radar. Get this up to like level two all throughout here. And then we're gonna want radar uh, in our capital here as well. Uh, so we'll start with that. Obviously we need radar in other locations, but for right now this will, this will keep them busy. Just preparing for the war against the allies, guys. Gonna need all that stuff taken care of. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. Getting behind these guys, trying to get the territory for the Soviets do, man. Take that territory. A lot of these, I'm trying to cut troops off, so we're in a weird, weird position. I mean, we're going to have to do some attacks, aren't we? I guess we'll attack them there. Then maybe we should attack them here. It looks like it might be easier, simply because we're not fighting in the mountains. And no divisions and basic training. Uh, did we ever get the equipment? You know, we could go ahead and start building troops. We got like a ton of manpower. Uh, so let's go and make use of it. Uh, though I actually want to make some changes to our divisions. Uh, let me see, the Marines over here, did they win? All right, so it looks like they're trying to get there. We'll see if they can get there or not. Uh, zero hours, they just gotta win, win the fight here. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna get there or not. All right, so we won't make the adjustment to the Marines yet, but I do have plans to make adjustments to them. I wanna see how many we could get. All right, we can't, can't do it just yet then. All right, so let's go and get some regular divisions then. Uh, let's do some of these guys here. And again, we're kind of short on artillery, but that's okay. Well, okay, we'll just get two for right now. Get them set up to go into that training army. So we'll do that. Uh, and maybe one motorized. Yeah, we'll just do one motorized. Remember, that's not really a priority here. The motorized divisions, but having some faster divisions is helpful. All right, so that's all we're going to do for right now. And hopefully these guys are able to get to Leningrad first just because I want it. Uh, it's, I would like to have occupation of it. All right, so let's go and push forward here. I know this is getting kind of weird. Grab that air base as well. All these air bases, if we can get them, will help. I'm gonna attack here, and then this guy is going to come over this way. We'll have the divisions there cut off. And go ahead and push forward there now. And yeah, we're just gonna have to like satisfy ourselves with some uh, some of these attacks that are a little bit tougher. See if we can't make them happen. Uh, so let's go and attack this guy now. These guys are cut off in supply. Uh, so let's go and start taking the territory behind him. Uh, he's gonna retreat over to there, although it looks like he's gonna be done with that soon any damn way. Let's go and attack him over this way. And we're gonna attack these guys here. All right, so he's gonna come up this way now. And we'll have that guy go in case he can't make it. And some of these attacks are going to be... They're going to have to be across rivers, unfortunately. Alright, so that looks like that should be win. In fact, we should just pull that back and have him attack. Yeah, this is... Really, uh... Really wide front at this point. Alright, so let's go and go this way now. And let's go and just push forward here. Try and get to that victory point there. Grab that province as well, if nobody's there to stop us. Leningrad has fallen. Uh, looks like we did not take it, unfortunately. And anything we do here would be helping out the Germans. But, remember, occupation uh, points, what you get for the occupation here, is not based on who actually holds the province, it's who takes it. So, if we just advance the front here with our Marines, we're still doing something and still helping out. Uh, so we're gonna get the rest of these guys over here. And, and at this point, it's just a race to get uh, as much war score as possible. Uh, that's what we're trying to do now, guys. And so we're going this way. This guy's gonna fail here, so we'll attack over there, although he's gonna have to defend. Okay, that's fine. They could cut us off any moment they wanted to, but they are not trying to. Uh, so these guys are gonna try and cut them off. 
Uh, maybe we'll be able to grab that one. I don't know. We'll have to send another division over there more than likely. Uh, yeah, they're getting tougher as they have less divisions. Uh, which, again... Oh, this guy's supposed to go over here. Not there. <laughs> oh, lord. There we go. Uh, yeah, they're actually getting tougher now. Uh, than they were before. Um, again, I, I think it's just a matter of... Uh, less divisions needing equipment. Uh, so they're able to prioritize it a little bit more. I think that's what's happening. Uh, so, I was going to try and get to the first tier. I guess we can play a couple more minutes, guys. But, uh, more naval invasions. Look at this. I told you it was going to be a constant issue, guys. Another naval invasion here. Another naval invasion. Yeah, naval invasions here. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a consistent issue. Naval invasions here, here. Uh, yeah, I, I think, like, even though we won, finally, I don't think that it's uh, a long-term win, guys. Unfortunately. I think we're going to continue to see issues there. Which is a shame. Uh, but hopefully with this front finished up, it shouldn't be like dangerous to them. That's what I'm hoping anyway. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get up behind these guys by taking that province there. They are able to defend all of their provinces now for the most part. You're not, we're not really finding any provinces where they're not defending at this point. It's getting a lot harder to, to push forward now. In some areas, I mean. Uh, so these guys are done here. Let's go and grab that province there, because it could potentially cut them off. And nobody here to stop us invading into there and getting that victory point. Uh, but they could technically push it back up along here. It's just such a wide, wide front, guys. Somebody needs to deal with that. Who's assigned here? Okay, well, he can come back to it, I guess. Finish it up. Uh, what's the decision available here? No, war prop gonna. Okay. All right, so again, just keep on pushing forward. I don't really care so much about this here. Let's go and take those guys out. Let's go and try and attack here as well. Got a lot of divisions here. And you guys need to get over to the front. All right, push forward there. And so I'm grab that, and this will cut off all the divisions here. It'll make them a lot easier to get them destroyed now. See if we can't win there. It looks like we can. Excellent. Let's go and attack here and here. And let's go and attack these guys as well. Alright, and then we're taking that province. That won't reconnect them, so it's fine if they take it. Let's go and push forward here. Alright, and those guys are still pushing forward as well. And we will accept that. Lynn Lee Soffer, thank you. I appreciate it. They're attacking us there. This is a terrible place for them to attack us. I guess we can go ahead and say we're not interested in, in doing this right now. War propaganda. Uh, where are we at on, uh, we're on war economy. Okay. Everything's pretty much good there. Uh, let's go ahead and try and get behind them and take Penza. And then this guy here is going to go after that victory point right there. Uh, so just about got the divisions here destroyed. I can get this attack going. Let's just attack those guys there. It would be easier to cut them off if we let them attack, but it's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and support this. So we can get this done sooner. And then get these divisions cut off and, and destroyed. And attack these guys here. All right, excellent. Yeah, looking great, guys. Should we attack there? I know that's in the marshes, but it's fine. All right, so they're attacking over that way. Let's go ahead and have him go this way instead. And he can go ahead and stop his attack since it's clearly not going to be successful. Just looking for, uh, there we go, these guys here. Let's go and attack them. It looks like they're going to liberate them, so let's go and attack them and help them out there. And attack that way as well. We're up to almost 500,000 manpower at this point. Such a bummer, we're still short on equipment. Uh, and let's go ahead and attack here as well. And he can stay there and we'll help wipe this territory out. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys taking care of this for us. And just go ahead and push forward across here, man. Alright, let's go that way. And we need to get these troops here wiped out. Let's just thicken it up first, though. But nobody can rescue them. Attack that way, and clearly I did not do what I wanted to do there. All right, I don't want to attack across this river, so let's bring this guy over this way, and this guy over this way. 
And I'm gonna stack over there now. Just gotta get the rest of these little patches destroy here and we are into January 1st and that's the point I wanted to get to uh, and we got more Persian divisions to get training so let's go and get them training up here and all right this is where we are gonna leave off on the episode guys as we've made quite a bit of progress here now I don't think they're willing to give us yeah they still won't give us control of this state unfortunately uh, but yeah, the rest of it is in our hands uh, we also have our divisions here which you can just try and get this territory taken uh, just trying to get the win here, get this finished. I know they're kind of worried about supply at this point. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's fine. They can get on that front. Alright, so yeah, making good progress here, guys. Um, and, and I think, uh, I think they should capitulate pretty soon now. Let's just take a look. They're at 98%. Alright, so this is a great place to end it because I didn't want to have to do the peace treaty because that would take a little bit of time. Uh, but they currently have 8.07 million casualties. We did 3.4 of that while taking 157,000 ourselves. We're now 25% of the war participation, still a lot lower than the Germans, unfortunately, so I think that they'll they'll kind of dominate the treaty, but we should get something out of this, uh, and most importantly, we saved them uh, to deal with these damn naval invasions that are just constantly happening. Uh, so, so yeah, overall, I feel like war's gone quite well, and it's it probably a good idea that we, uh, that we did it, but I'm just hoping that we get something out of it. We'll have to see. We'll see what uh, happens in the peace treaty. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode though. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching guys.